there's a light yellow, sort of an ochre yellow, and then there's a green on top of it. So now I'm going to put a darker green that you can see here and that I've mixed up. So I want to show you how I ink this and how I print it. All right. So first off, so this is called the well. It's got the ink. Um, and I actually used a combination of the Lucas yellow and the Blick blue because the Blick blue is more like a um, cerulean, I think, and um, as opposed to an ultramarine, and that was giving me the kind of green I wanted. So you don't stick your brayer all the way into this ink. You kind of go up to it and pull down, up to it and pull down. And you can see I don't have much ink, it's very thin, and I'm rolling this. And I'm lifting up so that the roller spins. Now that looks too thin, especially over here. So I'm going to add a bit, pull down a bit more. And I can also go this way to sort of even it out and then go back to rolling this. And you can hear it sort of slurps, right? That's what you want to hear. So you might be able to see, I'm going to lift this up, so you might be able to see this a little better. See, it's kind of got a bit of a texture to it, but it's very thin. It's thin. It's not like have peaks. That would be way too much ink if you had peaks. And then also I'm looking on the roller. Does it look like the roller's even? And again, it's got a bit of like a texture to it. So if you turn it in the light, you can kind of look and see, does that look even? Does it look like an even coat? Okay. So now what I'm going to do is go over here and start inking. And it's much better if you start with... Just get a thin coat. Don't try to do it in one coat, okay? Just, it's better if you do multiple coats. And you can see I'm turning the brayer. And so then I go back and I get more ink. And I might have to add ink. Now, I can see a little tiny fleck of, which does happen, and I see it on my roller too. It's really hard to get these little tiny pieces from um, the cutting. It's hard to contain them actually. And I'm gonna look, yeah, and there they are. And so I'm gonna take this palette knife and I'm gonna try to get those out of there. All right, and then I also see one here, so I'm gonna try to get that up. All right, all right, and then I'm going to wipe off my palette knife. I'm gonna wipe off my palette knife. So, going back again, so now I'm gonna have to fill in the spots that I pulled out. And I'm grabbing a little bit more ink. And again, I'm gonna go this way a little bit, to even it up. And also notice this ink that I'm pulling down, this ink that I'm pulling down is not much wider than the width of my roller. You don't want a big, you know, blob because it's just gonna dry your ink out and it's a waste. 
Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then again, another coat. At this point, I'm just trying to get the ink on there. And every plate seems to have its quirks. And you just have to kind of accommodate it. And so, in this case, the quirk of this plate is that this edge right here tends to not print. I don't know why. Now there's some more. I must have not cleaned this off very well, which I thought I did, but apparently not. So now again, I'm gonna have to nab these little pieces here, get them out of there, and see if there's any on my roller. I don't think so. You definitely want to get those out because they are going to make a mark on your print, which you will not be happy with. So this edge here tends to not print, so I've got to pay special attention to that. And I'm just angling my roller at that edge to try to get that inked. Okay, all right. So, the ink is starting to look pretty good on there. So that, that kind of texture that you see on the slab here and on the roller, you want to look for that same texture on the plate. And now at this point, I'm trying to smooth out the ink. So I'm using a light touch and I'm going kind of at a diagonal because my image is at a diagonal. So when I'm looking at this, I don't know if you can see this, but you want it kind of get the light to shine on it and look at it and see does it look like there's that sort of texture and that it's, you don't see any lines and it looks like it's evenly coated? And I say yes. So now I'm going to put my registration device down. I'm going to move my ink over a little and put my registration device down. And I am going to carefully set the plate in there. And it doesn't fit absolutely perfectly, but not too bad. But I wanna make sure if there's a gap, and there is a little gap right here, that I'm pushing it all the way to the left. So that's another thing is make sure that you Try to position your plate in the same spot every time. All right, and then make sure my hands are clean. And I am going to take one of my prints, and I might take a print. I'm gonna look at these prints. I might take a print that maybe I'm not quite so happy with and do that one first. I'm going to start in this corner, press my finger into that corner, and then I'm going to carefully put the paper down, okay, and I'm just going to carefully kind of stick it so it doesn't move, and then I'm gonna use the deli paper with the smooth, waxy side up. And it's a lot easier if you use something like the deli paper in terms of, because it, it, it allows your barren to easier, more easily glide over your paper, okay? So first, I'm not applying a lot of pressure, but I'm holding this and there's different kinds of barons, okay? 
I'm using the palm of my hand here to apply pressure and holding, holding this width like that, okay? And pressing my palm down. And I'm going around in circles. What I have found that's helpful here is that I'm going to use, along with the Baron, I'm going to use a metal spoon. And the metal is nice because, because it glides really easy. But some people like wood spoons. You can try both. And I'm especially going around the edges so I can try to get a kind of nice crisp edge. Okay? A crisp edge. And So I'm going around the edges right now. And the other thing is that there's this, remember that edge that is sort of problematic and I can't get the baron in this corner. So I'm trying to get it with a spoon, okay? So I'm going along that edge there, these edges. And then I have found that I'm just gonna go over the whole thing with this spoon. Carefully, I'm going to peek. Okay, and it's looking pretty good. I don't see any major problems. So we're good. If I did see something, now this paper tends to curl, so I've got to be careful about that. If I did see something, I could have carefully put it back down and and use the spoon in the area. And there is that edge that's still problematic, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much. But I'm actually pretty happy with that. So I've repeated the process, and you can see my end result here. I have a few more colors to go. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thanks for watching.